Alright guys, what is going on everybody over on the Doom Clan channel? My name is Zach or Immortal Resistance, but you guys can call me Doom Immortal, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Ghosts gameplay commentary. Hope you guys are having an awesome day, and if not, maybe this video can make your day a little bit better, and today we have an insane gameplay for you guys. Today's gameplay is by none other than Doom Poyo. You guys have seen plenty of gameplays from him in the past, and today he's bringing us another awesome gameplay. Today we have a 110 kill specialist gameplay using the Bulldog Shotgun on the map Strike Zone. On this Bulldog, I believe he's using Muzzle Break and Extended Mags by the looks of it, uh, which is definitely, in my opinion, the best setup for the Bulldog Shotgun. Doom Poyo in this gameplay also drops a pretty fast chem strike. I think it's just under two minutes, so pretty fast. And he also ends up going on like a 19 or 20 gun streak. Can't remember exactly what it is. And he picks up a multi-kill right there. The one thing about this gameplay that I noticed when I was editing it, editing it and cutting it down was that he picks up an insane amount of triple kills and double kills. He just goes off in this gameplay. It's an absolutely insane gameplay. So be sure to go over and check out Doom Poyo. His channel link will be at the top of the description below. Be sure to go over to his channel. Subscribe over there if you haven't already subscribed to him because he is an absolute beast at Call of Duty Ghosts. He's one of our best players by far. So the gameplay for today, as I'm sure you guys can probably already tell, is pretty awesome, so I do hope you guys enjoy it in the background. Now let's move on into today's commentary topic. What I'm going to be talking about today is another personal story that I actually have from a few years ago. I think I was 12 or 13 when this happened, uh, but you guys have seemed to enjoy my personal stories in the past, so I decided to go ahead and tell another one here today, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's start off the story. So like I just said, that did take place a few years ago. I think I was 12 or 13 at the time, so about two or three years ago, because I am 15 now, and this is probably the most scared I've ever been in my life thus far. You never know. I, I'm only 15, so I have plenty of years left to be scared worse than this, although I was pretty scared and this happened, so let's start it off. So this story takes place at a church that my mom works at, and it's down in the Lakewood area of Colorado. So any of you guys who are familiar with the Colorado area probably know that Lakewood is not the best place. By the way, Doom Poyo picks up his chem strike right there in the gameplay, uh, so I do hope you guys enjoyed that. But my church is in the uh, Lakewood area of Colorado, and Lakewood or at least where my church is, is not a super friendly neighborhood. It's kind of a ghettoed out area. There are a lot of people just walking around on the streets, smoking and whatnot. Not the most friendly area to be walking around at night, I would say. Then again, I don't go outside that much anyway, so I don't have that much to worry about. So my church was kind of next to a big old park or open space area. There was a bunch of swings and like a little playground for the apartment complex that was next to it. There was also just a big open space or like a field or whatever you want to call it. And for some reason, all the hobos within call or within Lakewood of Colorado decided that that was going to be their hangout for that month or whatever. Or that was going to be the place where they would all hang out and do their thing, do their stuff, whatever you want to call it. And so I would often find myself walking around a bunch of hobos if I'm outside playing football with my friends or whatnot, all the other guys who went to that church. There were always a bunch of hobos hanging around. We always kind of just tried to stay away from them because we didn't want to interact with people who we didn't know about. We always just kind of kind of tried to play it safe. We didn't want to be talking to strangers. Stranger danger! Man, yeah, you learn this in like fourth grade. You don't you don't talk to strangers, man. They're dangerous people. Some might give you candy and ask you to go in their van. Never say yes. Unless there's Laffy Taffy. Or Skittles. Those are pretty good. Or Starburst. Starburst are also good. What's your favorite candy? Let me know in the comments below. I just got so sidetracked. But anyways, moving on back to the story. So uh, it was kind of in the ghetto route area of Lakewood. And so we were having a lock-in, which is basically like you spend the night in the church. And, you know, there's always like, oh, churches are haunted. Oh, there's dead people. Like, yeah, all that jazz, all that stuff. And so we decided to play a like hide-and-seek-like game in a dark church. And my church is not that small. It's actually a pretty big building. So uh, there was a lot of room to run around and Whatnot, and it was in the middle of summer so summers in Colorado the nights don't really get that cold it normally can stay like 60 to 70 degrees at night so we always have like the doors wide open so we can let all the cool air come in and refresh us and just ah smell the outside air of hobo stink and whatnot but anyways um so it was like the middle of the night it was like probably like two in the morning or whatever and we were playing like this hide and seek game we had all the doors open because we didn't want to get too hot inside this church and so all the cool air was refreshing us coming in the doors and whatnot and so we were playing hide and seek and there was a really dark room that's in the back of my church that i hate because it smells like coffee, and coffee for some reason I guess reminds me of old people, so I try and stay away from that room, but of course, everyone decided to hide in this room, and I was like totally against this because I'm a wuss, I didn't want to go in the coffee smell room, so uh, I, I finally manned up, I walked into this room, and I went to go hide in a trash can, although to my surprise, I pick up the trash can, and I was like, oh man, this is really heavy, heavy. someone forgot to empty the trash, but no, I look down, and I hear a grunt, and there is a homeless man sleeping 
in the trash can and I flipped out. I screamed probably the girliest scream I've ever screamed in my life. I just completely flipped out. I bolted it. I don't know what happened after that because I, I went and ran. I was like, mommy, help. Oh. I, I wasn't like that. I was manly. I was like, mom, I just beat up a homeless guy. Just kidding. I ran away from him because I was scared. But anyways, uh, that's probably the scariest moment that I've, I, that I've ever experienced within my life. Let me know your scariest moment or your favorite candy in the comments below. And uh, that's today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did and you want to leave a like rating, I will high five you in the face once again be sure to go over and check out doom Poyo. his link will be at the top of the description and if you guys enjoyed today's commentary by me my channel link will also be down in the description below and i'm gonna let you guys go with a few chem strikes going off doom Poyo's teammate actually does end up getting a chem strike out of a care package within this gameplay so i'll let you guys go with the sound of those going off hope you guys have an awesome day stay happy stay positive and peace out friendly chem strike incoming Incoming. Friendly hind incoming. SATCOM uplink enabled.